Maasai tribe have their rich cultural traditions. The method of an animal being killed to retrieving the meat is a ritualistic act. I get to take part in the process. It's so particular and fascinating. The process of killing to cooking the meat. All right, the plan for today is we're going to go get a uh, sheep and we're gonna cut it up and cook it and everything. But just not only that, we're gonna do it like the Maasai style, how they are, cause they're very particular on how they cut it and they preserve everything. You know what I mean? Oh, and this won't be trying to say hi. On that case, we're gonna try to catch up with the rest of them cause we're we a little bit behind. On that case, let's go. Let's go find a sheep so we can go cut them up. Sounds kind of sounds kind of horrid <laughs> but let's go right now what they're doing is they're setting up get the sheep cook it at least i'll say i'm figuring out how they're doing it i love how people just are quick on their toes and figuring out what it is that they need to get things going and rolling you know but i'm gonna show you the whole process how everything ends up getting set up out here and let's see how it ends up going so right now we're with our parents dre Mombi, the guy who stays here and then the neighbor, he's the Maasai who's gonna show us how to do the cutting and how it's all done. I know YouTube doesn't like to see stuff like this. So I'm gonna try to kind of show as much as I can without being, try to show without not being too gore, but I don't know. We'll see how it ends up going, but I just kind of want to show you the experience, how it ends up being, seeing when it's all being cut. Usually after they say, take the blood, they usually put salt to kind of help preserve it so it doesn't start clogging up so quick last time we actually ended up having like a raw kidney i believe he just took it out of the sh the sheep cut it up and was like here you go you want to eat it he ended up eating it i ended up eating it it was actually pretty cool the only way because my sister was there too the only way they convinced my sister to do it is they told her you will not get a cold for the rest of the year that girl said okay because <laughs> she loves doing a lot of natural stuff to get rid of colds <laughs> so you pretty much oh this one's a lot easier it's when it's already cut but i'm trying my best to just stay on the skin cut it quite easy put it in the cutter yeah you cut it like this fast yeah, yes and then you make a slice yes and then you stick the knife in mm. oh this is a hard part but you find the angling and then you just kind of slide it down and then you just try your best to just stay and not touch the the fat just stay on the skin It, it could take how long before and the cool if any be a raka because now I've been here, 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 no, I'm just curious what's the youngest when a chianga what to answer Kukata. Mm, to my chianga, eh? But to the fiction, me a car, Kuman and Billy, Kunakati, Simbus and Dogondogos and Akufa, hm, when I try to come for the camera, Mazuiz. Hm, oh, 
Wakati hizo zifika 15 years. Mhm. Sasa utaenda kufuzwa na wazee hivi na kufuzwa huko hapa pole pole. Mhm. Utazoea. Hata eh. wamama watachinja. Hata wamama wanachinja? Mhm. I notice it helps a lot when you hold the arm up so every there's resistance. And then Hi. Ooh. <laughs> I'm trying my best not to go inside the actual mm -hmm. organ, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say one thing is as a first timer, you get you get very nervous because you really want to do it precisely how you see it being done. Mm -hmm. Pretty much it's the sheep I'm about to cut the balls of the sheep. So you just grab it like this to get the skin and you just make yes. a slice. Yes. So pretty much you just, So you just grab and just cut the whole thing yes. out. And there's the balls of the the sheep. It's crazy. It's big, yeah. It is big. <laughs> you said what? Toastiness. The testicles, yeah. Mm. Sorry. Mm. To, the cutting of the balls was actually very simple. Just the the skin is actually very soft, so it just it really felt like you know how you say. You, Cut like butter. <laughs> it felt like don't act up. I know how to do it. Now. <laughs> oh, I didn't touch you. Yes, you did. Oh, I put blood on yes, you. you? I'm sorry. It's okay. I feel like when you have the knife in your hand and eventually you're starting to cut, you just start feeling like I don't know. It makes you feel like if you were to be a surgeon, how it would be. You know, it makes you want to be like. I mean, that's kind of. It's gonna sound kind of gore, but practice to be able to perfect your skills i see why when people decide to be a surgeon they get so fascinated with the whole surgery aspect of it all yeah. Yeah. The Masai way being passed on from my mother to yeah. now. She's passed it on to me and later on I can pass it on to Mozi. Yeah. I love the cultural feel of all of how the Masais do this. In different, uh, in many other cultures, even the women can be able to cut the, even the women can be able to cut the, the animal, either the sheep, Mbuzi, Ngombe. But the only thing is the women have to cut it in the inside. They just don't go cooking it outside. Uh -huh. Pretty much, the point of the knife is what helps it the most. I never in a million years would have ever thought I would actually participate in cutting a sheep or any animal like that and especially to be taught by Masa uh, by Dixon who's a Maasai and this is his culture and how they cut it like this in the Maasai culture usually by the age of 12 is when you start getting introduced and start practicing to cut then usually by the time you're 15 you have mastered it by then they actually were saying before they started going to school they'll go to like the forest and then they'll be able to go in i guess they'll have meat every single day and be able to just cut every single day and that's how you'll be able to just give the chance to master it actually they were saying within three months at least back then before they went to school they would have known how to actually skin the animal usually by the age of 20 that's when 
they can usually start teaching the younger ones. They kind of settle in one area. They just know where to take the animals for feeding. And of course, they have everything that they need. So whenever they're walking, they say it's a wild animal, they'll actually have everything that they need to protect it. So when the, the, the cows or anything smells a wild animal, the cows will smell, the, get the scent, and come back closer to the shepherd. I'll say shepherd. <laughs> will come back to the Maasai and come closer, and that's how he'll know there's, some, there's something close by, and then they'll be ready to protect their herd. It's an amazing culture. It's a beautiful culture. <laughs> <laughs> you just get the matchbox like this and then light a, light, light a paper. When you light a paper, then you put a dust there, the, uh, the firewood. This is the firewood. And then you get the fire going. Mm, so you just use the little ones just to get it started. Yeah, you use this small one because it'll catch fire quickly. Mm. Get started. Then it help the big one. As soon as the big one catches uh, now the fire, the fire is not gonna go away. It'll mm. sit on it. That's the fat that they use for cooking and turn it into lard. Mm. I guess that's the best way I can explain it. That's, that's what it is. So everything is being used. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't take anything. Very few they take. Isn't it? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That's the rib, right? Yeah, yeah. he's cutting it I out like how you're doing it, too. I I'm telling you, it's, fun. it's amazing. Because normally they just slice that whole mm -hmm. chest bone. Open. And then, yeah. Yeah. Just the ribs only. Oh, you're using he's using his finger to dice it. Mm -hmm. I really thought he was just gonna just. No, I told you it's completely go. different when a Maasai does it. You should have to take your time with this method. Mm -hmm. And really just be patient. Like you're getting everything that you need. You see the other sack opening up right there? Mm -hmm. Has a little bombs is we really it's probably like that because we didn't eat enough like salt. The salt is what resists the blood. I say this um it didn't have enough salt. It didn't eat enough salt and salt is what is helps cleanse the blood. So it just didn't have enough salt. So that's why it's never looks it looks like that. It wasn't good because it didn't have enough salt. Look at that. <laughs> so far, everything is cut separately. Yeah. This is the, the chest, the leg, the ribs, and the arm. Why the sugar? You need a Rib, chest, arm, leg, and the other arm. Mm-hmm.
Oh my goodness. Oh. I feel like you're just cutting the last leg. <laughs> so, oh, be careful. It's You just have to be strong and just hold it. Just get a good grip and resistance. And then after, after you have all that, it just starts to slide on out. <laughs> But it's all about gripping, how you end up gripping it as well. I guess it gets cut into small pieces, mm -hmm. you don't notice Maybe it. Maybe it doesn't break it. Eh. It's not like I'm going to go. 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 They separate who gets what. Everybody gets their own piece. So the obsession. Mm -hmm. A section of your spine. A section of the spine will go to the ladies. And and also the the ribs. Now, what other piece will go to who? The chest go to the Vagina. Oh, and the chest goes to the men. Oh, the boys. The boys. <laughs> Correction. The boys. <laughs> As you can see, just like how the whole process started with the killing in the beginning, then of course when it was being skinned, and then at least now that it's complete, you're just left with the stomach, the heart, the kidney, and of course some of the other ones. Um, I guess I'll just leave it alone. The other ones, we just didn't have kept those. And then now we have, and of course, the intestines there. <laughs> it's just process from beginning to the end. We made it to the end. <laughs> oh, <wow>. <laughs> after being able to, just after doing everything, just seeing the process beginning to end and being able to participate oh, in the, the whole cutting, the way I feel about it is more like, I, I know... I know I eat meat, so I know this is a process that it goes through. So it wasn't like, oh my goodness, or just like nerve wracking, or just, oh, I feel so bad. Because I, I know, I know this is a process it goes through. For all the meat that I eat, like for people who like a burger, a hot dog, whatever, this is a process that it goes through. So I already know it's a process. So it was very like, I just like to see how it's done correctly and perfectly through the lens of the Maasai culture. And so my overall feel of it was it was an amazing experience and being able to just have the knife and being able to be to be part of it it's very completely different than just watching it's like night and day but it's an experience i always take with me and Mombi was over here holding the <laughs> the leg and everything but on that case right now we have the head and the way you show when there's the head, of course it's here, so you put it in the fire. The head is going to be kept for the soup, but because there's a lot of hair, you're going to be burning it here, just turning it around, Ooh. and just burning the hair off. So whenever we make it to the house and we're ready to make soup, it's all ready, the hair's gone and it's just ready. So all we do right now is just scraping it off, just turning and scraping.
sasa mate yenyewe hiyo unajua hata katuu bado hii mombi eh eh mimi ndio nimekula kama 4 5 hizi nina kama ama ya ine bafu ai ai nanda pole pole mmm ma unakula sasa ya 5 na mimi ni ya 20 We are heading out. We had an amazing. I guess you could say we had an amazing lunch. Cuz we had ugali and we had nyama. And pretty much my experience about this whole thing was it's it's gruesome, but you know what? You get past it. After you get the gruesome of the, just the initial killing, he ends up being just like an art form. You know, just seeing how everything is cut so delicately. But at the end of the day, hopefully we do not get. I hopefully YouTube allows. <laughs> Don't what is it? Monetize. Demonetize. Yeah. We don't even do get monetized. Well, yeah, but hopefully anyway, yeah. YouTube doesn't try to block this video. I hope you guys can be able to see pretty much what we were able to experience, and you guys can just try to see the beauty of the Maasai culture and how they operate when they're cutting meat and how they do things. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys can enjoy it cuz I enjoyed it. The way I'm feeling I'm like give me some more practice, I'll get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But I think I said it before. I know where animals come from. We eat meat. So that's why part of me I feel like this is a process of it. This is the process that it goes through. So that's why I'm like you know. But anyway, pass that. I'm going to fight. On that case, hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did. So like comment tell me what you think would you ever be willing to do that and or have you ever done that or before? have you ever done it if so which animal mm -hmm. i am curious but on that case we are heading out we are going to wherever we got to go next yeah. <laughs> but on that case we're going to close the video out today i mean right now <laughs> i'll see you on the next one bye